The St. Cloud State Huskies are set to take on the University of Minnesota Gophers this weekend in a non-conference showdown. Welcome to the St. Cloud State Husky Hockey Weekend Preview. I'm Megan Hestrom, alongside me is McHatton from the St. Cloud Times. You know, the Huskies are looking to bounce back after two tough losses last weekend against the Mavericks. What positives can the Huskies take from last weekend's play? Well, I thought they got better as the weekend went on, honestly. I mean, I, I don't think they, they got off to the, the start they were looking for in the first period in particular in, at Mankato. I thought about, about halfway through the game the first night, all of a sudden you saw kind of the lights starting to come on a little bit. And uh, the second night, I thought St. Cloud State was a lot better. Uh, you know, they made a ton of mistakes in the, in the series, uh, you know, and a lot of them ended up in the back of the net. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say that the goaltending was like on top of its game either. So there was kind of a combination of things. Mankato also kind of went into the series already having played a series. St. Cloud's first two games, and, and Mankato's a little bit better, I think, than some people uh, I think recognize. Uh, they're going to be a good team this season. You know, last season the Huskies came away with a sweep against the Gophers. Looking forward to this weekend's matchup. How do these two teams stack up against each other? Well, you know, it's interesting because I, I, I'm not. I'm not thinking that either team is necessarily going to sweep this weekend, but uh, you know Minnesota look, look, has looked a lot better here in the early going. Uh, they, they got two wins up at, at Alaska uh, to open the season, uh, and just from talking to people, it, it sounds like you know this might be one of the better Minnesota teams in terms of talent uh, that they've had in, in recent seasons. So uh, it's going to be a tough battle. I mean, they, the Gophers like to get up and down the ice. St. Cloud State likes to get up and down the ice. It's going to be entertaining one way or the other. I'll say that. Freshman forward Jake Whalen put the Huskies on the board for against the Mavericks with his first goal of the season. What kind of talent does this guy bring to the ice for the Huskies? Yeah, I'm actually writing about him, and he uh, he brings a lot of talent actually, and they've been very happy with him. About halfway through that first game, he went from playing kind of on the, on the fourth line up to playing on the first line, and ended up scoring that goal kind of following a, a Judd Peterson rush and. Uh, he's got very good speed. Uh, he seems to play at a, at a high tempo all the time. Uh, he's crafty, he's kind of nifty with the puck, and uh, he's a guy that people are excited about, I guess, on this team. Other than Jake Whelan, it seems like a lot of the scoring is coming from some more veteran players. Let's kind of talk about who some of the key scorers are for the Huskies. Yeah, well, Ryan Papa, I th you know, I thought was good both nights. Uh, I think he had four shots on net on, on the first night, uh, had a goal and assist uh, on Saturday night, kind of got St. Cloud State going. Uh, Blake Winicky, uh, you know, got going on, on the second night. Uh, and I think he's a, a key guy for St. Cloud State, actually. One of the, one of the veteran centers. Uh, Judd Peterson had a goal and assist in the series. Uh, you really saw Judd's uh, speed on a couple occasions, and he created two goals. Uh, just by basically blowing past people with his speed. So uh, those are some, some of the key guys offensively for St. Cloud. That is a look at your weekend preview. Puck Drop is set for 8 p.m. on Friday and 7.07 on Saturday. You can catch both games on FSN Plus or on nchc.tv on Saturday. Fans can also listen to the game on 96.7 The Rev. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.